All right. I like Mega it. Mega power cords. Check that out. <laughs> it's a clamp. It's a tripod. A universal mount with a ball joint. Yeah. It's an adjustable height setting. Yeah. And you can clamp it to pretty much anything. That's brilliant. It's a nice little compact piece as well. And the Australian um, border people, the customs, spotted it last year, first time ever, and they thought it was some sort of knife because they've seen <laughs> these metal pieces. And they had to put it and show them what they did. That's it. Just slide it. It's rusty and old. And you can tell it's been well used because it's starting to rust. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very rare. I don't know where they're going from. So where did you get it from? I don't remember. <laughs> but um, it's got to be 10 years old at least since I've been coming here. Somewhere in Cardiff. That sure reminds You're me thinking of, the... of other type <laughs> uses for it. Yeah. No, it actually reminds me of the um, the gun from um, Mimbo's Alpha. Yeah. The, the oh, laser, the, the phaser gun or whatever they yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. I'll have to um, hop online and have a look for them. Because yeah, I've got all sorts of camera gear and um, I'm always looking for extra bits. Yeah. I think he's managed to get us lost. Is this the right way? Yep. <laughs> I never doubted you for a minute, man. <laughs> We're just trying. Yeah, it's a shame it's closed. Yeah, see? Tuesday to Thursday. It's on the from 10 to 2. Yeah. They got soldiers on Yeah. It's a pretty big complex. Swallows. <laughs> So we're off to a aircraft museum, something yeah. like that? Calandra um, Skydiving Aircraft Museum. No skydiving for me, thanks. No. I've got a bad knee. <laughs> Air museum, okay. See a couple of warbirds in there that have been restored. Mm. Yeah, uh, ooh, spit fire. yeah, they landed west in Arnhem, and um, all the um, guys were given blank postcards by the um, commanding officer of the Germans, and they're basically instructed here's a blank postcard. Here's a pencil, write to your family and let them know you've been taken to Starlight 24, whatever it was. And uh, he then, the German officer then took the blank postcards, gave them to a Red Cross, and then actually had them sent back to the UK. Yeah. They like this, really. Yeah. Germans. You could have ended the war at Dunkirk. We were going to have a peace treaty. Hope they keep Europe and we keep our empire. Yeah, they're being double sided. Yeah. So one, two, three. 
two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking at probably twenty-four in total. So this would fly into the war zone. Yeah. Yeah. And the paras would just leap out the rear end. Yeah, I don't want to spend too many hours sitting on this in those seats. <laughs> Yeah, my battery's running flat. <laughs> Why is that in here? I have no idea. Hmm. Why is that a car? Okay, my battery is running dead, so I better be quick. It's a P51 Mustang. So this may be the last bit of footage. Maybe the last bit of footage for now, guys. So my battery is red lighting. Oh, it was a Bell helicopter. Yeah. Don't you just love his Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> Can't believe they wouldn't let me into the RSL club without this. Yeah, we got, uh, sorry, we didn't. Um, Vic got refused entry to the RSL because he was inappropriately dressed. He was wearing a singlet. I was trying to fit in with the local Australians by just looking scrappy. So luckily I had this emergency backup practical <laughs> shirt. So I totally planned on that. Is that your EDC shirt? <laughs> For urban environments. If you said let's meet in the bush, I would have had my full camera. Actually, that's not the one that I've been up in. I went up in the North American Harvard. This is a Wiraway. Yeah, Wiraway. Yeah. They're very similar though. Still seats behind people. Yep. Um, side by side. That was a good couple of hours. There's actually, um, down in Strathpine, where I live, there's an old hangar about that size, which mm -hmm. has been used by some uh, hydraulics company, something like that, and actually housed um, Spitfires during World War II. And people don't know it. It's like they're right in the middle of suburbia, and they're not aware of it. Have you seen Henny Haynes? Henny Haynes? Yeah, I know them. Barry Island there, huh? Eh? First shot, just down the road. 